Are you struggling? <laughs> See, we're stuck. Oh no. We're stuck in I wish I could help you, but I'm filming. <laughs> Who's gonna document this if I help you? <laughs> we're uh, stuck. You'll get it. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. Well, we have an update. So, at the last minute, they canceled one of my classes and changed it to an online learning session. So we decided to go to the Bonnet House Museum today. Because we missed it the last time. <laughs> yeah, this was so. supposed to be during the Hugh Taylor Birch State yeah. Park video. But Gigi, Gigi come here. Gigi, but, stay here. But we ran out of time. Yeah. So, so now, now we're, we're gonna, doing it today. Yeah, we're gonna finally visit it and check it out. And it's right across the street from, from the, Hugh Taylor Birch mm -hmm. State Park. So you could do it in one yeah. day if you don't have a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's like indoor and outdoor stuff. So it's a great day for it too, because it's like super nice out. Yeah, it's supposed to have nice gardens. And I mm -hmm. guess there's probably a tour yeah. of the house, but we're going to go check it out. Our favorite tree. Yeah. Oh wow, I think we're here. Nice. From the park that's for your residents. A caretaker and his family have always lived year-round on the property in a small cottage. In the winter when they were here, we respected them because this was their home. They had friends and relatives and they, they were home here, just like a member of the family. So, what do you think of this place so far? I like it so far. It's super pretty yeah. and it's not too stuffy. It's like um like it, it's a beautiful garden. Yeah, it's really like, colorful. But it's not like um too ornate. Posh? Too posh, yeah. It's relaxed. Yeah. Right? It's really mm -hmm. beautiful but re relaxed. Yeah. Mm. That's a nice place. Mm-hmm. It's so, huge. Yeah. Did you see the map? It is a big, it's 35 acres, right? This is just where we were. So we're, we have still haven't even finished it. We were just at the beginning of that house. Yeah, we haven't even really gone inside the mm -hmm. house. No, we, but we need to take a break because Gigi needed a break. Yeah. No. We, Gigi, you got this, look, we got you a strawberry. Mm -hmm. A strawberry snack. So their cafe's closed, but they still have snacks. So that's for okay. Gigi and a mango one for Mama. We didn't mm -hmm. plan this out super well. We didn't bring lunch. No. No, but they still have snacks here, which is good. Yeah. Mine. Just counter snacks fishy? like M&Ms and... Mm -hmm. You want this? Nah. Which no, one do you want? Which one? Which ones? Do you want the ice cream? You want those? What do you say? Please, hey, Mommy. And say, please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Okay, you can have some. Oh. So we're following the self-guided yeah. tour right now. Yeah, so you can click on these things here. Like, let's say we're at the courtyard right now. And then you can press play and it explains everything on the courtyard. Mm -hmm. And then you have like stuff here and then you just press play and you get a recording. So we've been through um, the studio, courtyard, butler's pantry. I think we have to go through how here now. Okay, I'm following you. <laughs> so we saw the pantry room, the butler's pantry, mm -hmm. the dining room, the drawing room. Oh, the studio. The studio. Yeah. The courtyard is so nice. That's beautiful. I could just like sit there all day. Yeah. And then we saw this veranda, which is super beautiful. And now we're at the Shell Museum. Um, so we're walking into the Shell There's museum. a bamboo bar in there somewhere, a Shell Museum, and an orchid house. Look at the size of these shells. Those are huge.
You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? House. You like this house? Yes, house. What color is the house? <laughs> so we're here at the desert garden we're gonna go up this way through here go through this walkway okay then go all the way around back this way the only thing with the walking through here if you have a stroller is that our stroller is a very portable stroller so pushing Gigi through these rocks is a little bit rocky <laughs> <laughs> If we had our bigger stroller, which yeah, we did. Yeah, bigger tires would be better, yeah. but we can do it, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is pretty. Wow, that's so nice. Can you imagine this belonged to one family? That's so nice. This look was one that. family that lived here. Actually, two people. It was the husband and wife and 16 staff members. So they call it the Bonnet House because when there was alligators in this like little pond lake thing, they would come up and then hit the lily pads and it looked like they were wearing bonnets. So that's yeah, why they call the it lily the pads would, would sit on top of their head with yeah. the little yellow flower on it. And it would look like a bonnet. Yeah, so they called it bonnet, bonnet house. That's how they came up with the name. I don't know if there's alligators in there right now, but. They said there wasn't anymore. Probably because it's a museum, they, uh, make, they sure. make sure. But you can never be certain. So the owners of this property were both artists. Obviously very wealthy, but as a hobby, they were artists. And so this property is very art inspired and there's an incredible art studio that we walked through and just the artwork and the colors of this place it's just amazing it's so so nice and uh i think we still got about 30 acres to go oh my gosh i love it here yeah super nice right yeah we're gonna have our anniversary here our anniversary party here <laughs> when covid's over everyone's invited there's a great spot there for us to renew our vows and yeah. we have our reception there okay <laughs> Yeah, this place is amazing. Yeah. I like this just as much as the Flagler Museum. Yeah. If you've different. ever been to the Flagler Museum, it's in uh, Palm Beach. It's a huge mansion. A lot more ornate than this. This place is much more laid back, has much more of like a beachy Florida vibe. But it's just amazing, isn't it? We've been here how long? We got here just shortly after it opened at 1130. Yeah. And it is now 2.30 and we're still yeah, here. we're still here. And like it's nice because we can just like, because it's very casual. Yeah. Like we can take our time. Yeah. You don't feel rushed going through like with the... Um, yeah, it's very relaxed. Yeah. Because sometimes when you go through museums, you have to like follow the group. Yeah. It's kind of very much like self-guided. So yeah. you can take your time doing it. Yeah, we can go real slow. Yeah. We're just in the middle of the woods. I'm pretty sure we're in the maritime hammock right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we're going to come out on the other side here back at that um, thatched roof, that kind of like a dock out? overlooking the water. You need out. Are you struggling? <laughs> See, we're stuck already. Oh no. We're stuck in I wish I could help you, but I'm filming. <laughs> Who's gonna document this if I help you? <laughs> we're uh, stuck. You'll get it. Okay, see ya. Bye. Bye. Oh wow, look at this, this is so cool, so cool, Do I, am I talking like a California? Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, come on Gigi. Whoa, this is awesome. Oh, so breezy up here too, it's like 10 degrees cooler, this is amazing. Look at this view Gigi. Wow. So oh, nice. The only thing that would be better is if that condo wasn't there. To ruin the view. No. Hey, baby. My bag is the mommy and the baby. I think
think that does it from uh, Bonnet House Museum mm -hmm. and Gardens. Yeah. We saw the outdoor garden, the courtyard, the fountain. The inside of the house. We saw the butler's kitchen and where they would serve their meals. Mm -hmm. It was just two people who lived here, yeah. a husband and wife. And this was their winter house. This was their winter house. And they, they had a, in Chicago. And they had a staff of 16 people. Unbelievable. And it's 35 acres and we're just steps to the beach. She's still sleeping. We just left the Potted House Museum and Gardens and um, we loved it there. It was a great spot for yeah. like, not only for families, but like for like adults because there was a lot of like just adults going around. Yeah, it's mostly adults, but it's a really good spot if you have little kids because yeah. it's pretty self-contained and so like yeah. they can just run around. Mm -hmm. I would only be careful in those spots where they have like the the water the, areas. The, well, the water air. No, yeah, the water areas, and then like um, inside, like the dining area. They oh have, yeah, like, the fragile stuff. The fragile yeah, stuff. yeah. But it's still a good spot for for families. Yeah, I think. yeah. Um, the we got. Was so nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, the fountains and all the lush gardens and stuff. Yeah. It was really nice. And we, all the people were super friendly. Yeah, we got there shortly after it opened at like eleven thirty, mm -hmm. and we left at what time? Three, two thirty, three o'clock. Three, three o'clock, I think. Yeah. yeah, we were there for a long time. Yeah. And um, was, we didn't come prepared because we didn't bring lunch, but they still yeah. had like a nice, like they have a cafe. With... They have a cafe, but it's not a cafe. It's just snacks. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. But the snacks tied us. They like tied us over. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I loved it. It was so pretty. Like the whole grounds yeah. was so pretty, like with all the trees, and it, it didn't feel like you were in the middle of uh, the city. Yeah. You that's felt right. like a little in a little escape. When you leave, it's not the nicest area but, but that like, on the property it's, it's really like nice so pretty. yeah it's really cool you don't even realize you're in the city until you like look up you're like oh there's condos yeah yeah <laughs> but that was a nice little like we just decided to go there this mm -hmm. morning yeah and it was only because we just found out cat's class got canceled mm -hmm. for today so we had a free day yeah and it, lucky. It, yeah it worked out well mm -hmm. we had a good time and yeah. now we're waiting for our chipotle yeah but you're back to school tomorrow? I'm back to school tomorrow. We're supposed to graduate tomorrow, so. That's your last day tomorrow? It's my last day. And then we basically are just here waiting for mm -hmm. all your credentialing stuff to get Yeah, so we're just waiting for done. all the paperwork stuff. Yeah. Because like I've done all my classes, um, so we're literally just waiting for everything to like come together. So like right. my social security and my nursing license and my background check. Mm -hmm. And then once I get all that done, like, can yeah. go. But while we wait, we're basically free, mm -hmm. right? I'm hungry. Burrito time. All right, okay. so that was a good day. Yeah, that was a really good day. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Bonnet House Museum and Gardens. Definitely a recommend, recommend for us. Recommend for families <laughs> or not families. For anybody, it's great. Anyone. Yeah. There, was, there was one girl, she was solo. Yeah, there's yeah people there on their own. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's right across the street from the Hugh beach. Taylor Birch State mm -hmm. Park which is in an earlier video that we made and we planned on going to both in one day. I would make sure you do one full day there. Yeah, I would take, I would take, um... And just take your time. Mostly, yeah, because it opens at 11, so that's mostly, most yeah. of your day is going to be there. It was nice. Yeah, it's not one of those museums where you have to be super hush-hush mm -hmm. and, like, you feel awkward if your kid's getting noisy. Yeah. It's not one of those places. It's, it's fine. Like, mm -hmm. it's mostly outdoors, so... Yeah. Yeah. Super chill. And everyone was so nice. Yeah, it, they call it bonnet, muse, uh, bonnet House, but it's more of like a garden tour than mm -hmm. anything. It's mm -hmm. more, mostly outside. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to go eat dinner now. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're headed okay. to the Social Security Office? Yeah, I'm just headed to the Social Security Office to get my Social Security number. Um, so this is like a big deal because we need this in order to get my nursing license. So hopefully I get it today. If not, I'll come in within two weeks. And then from there, we'll know how long it's gonna be till we leave here, so. Mm -hmm. hopefully. So if you, like if you go into the office, you could get it like within a day. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're still, we're leaving no. here on Friday. No, cause I have to apply for my nursing license. And like, you think how long will that take? It just depends. Cause like I'll t do a temporary license first, they said, and mm -hmm. then I'll get my permanent one once we're in Maryland. But and that could take until because probably 
they do this stuff during business hours, right? Yeah. So, so it could, it be, could like, be sometime next week. Yeah. It's like Wednesday today. So it could be like they apply for it today after I get it because I'm going to call them right away yeah. with my number. If you get it. If I get it. And if we don't get it, then it's just like a waiting game. Okay. So, okay. I mean, if we're waiting, we're in Florida. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, think, I think we've got some ideas of what we're going to yeah. do. So. Yeah, so it's, it's not like a horrible thing for waiting. No, here. of course not. <laughs> okay, is my car there? I get chauffeured everywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have a chauffeur coming for me. Okay, well, good luck. Hopefully we get it. Yeah, I'll call you right away. Yeah, okay. Call me! We have an update. First of all, we're in the middle of the Everglades. Mm -hmm. We're like right in the middle of the Everglades on the, what's this road called? It's the Loop. The Everglade Loop? The Ever, yeah, we're in the National Park. The Everglade Loop is free. So, it's a cool loop that you can go around. There's like small stops that you can do and you can check out the sides for like gators and stuff. So yeah, we've seen a lot of gators yeah, so far. Gator hunting. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw a huge one. Yeah, we, well, we've seen a few big ones. Oh. And this is free. Like, mm -hmm. this is just off the highway, but it's in the... I think it's a Cypress... Okay, I'll just put the name yeah. of where we... I'll put the name in the road right up here. Um, but we're in the Cypress something or other preserve. Yeah. And there's this loop road right off the main highway. Um, and we've been on it for like a good hour. And it's not too busy either. Yeah, it's not busy. We've been on it for like an hour and we're about halfway. Yeah. So we still got to go. And we saw a ton of gators. Yeah. We still got another hour yeah. in this direction. It was paved and then we went, now I'm we're off-roading. the dirt road. Yeah, now we're on the dirt road. What's going on, Kat? <sighs> okay, so this morning I went to the social security office to get a social security number issued to me. Um, fortunately, I wasn't issued a number. They said it was going to come within two weeks. So... So what does that mean for us? So, looks like we're stuck in Florida for a little bit longer. Oh, oh. for us. <laughs> While we wait for my security, social security number. So, because I need that in order to apply for my nursing license to work in Maryland. So, can't really work without that. So. We have to wait for that before we go. <laughs> so we don't know how long we're going to be here for. Yeah. <laughs> but until we do, we're just going to keep going on adventures like this. Yeah, we're going to make the most of it. Yeah. I mean, this if we're stuck somewhere, this is the best place to be stuck. I know. This is awesome. <laughs> this is, for me, this is like a dream come true. Because, yeah. like, I wanted to come out and, like, find gators. Yeah. And, like, get close to them. Yeah, now you've seen a ton. Within reason. Yeah, now we've seen a ton. Uh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. We're in Florida. Yeah. Indefinitely. Yeah. No, not indefinitely. <laughs> Forever. We're never no. leaving. <laughs> you wish. I wish. <laughs> One day maybe? Woo! <laughs> <laughs>